Peace. Yo, peace to the divine infinite consciousness and peace to my infinite self in all realms and realities. Yo, I'm just going to build real quick about, you know, the unit. Basically, you know, child support. So, um, for those who go out, male or female, to go get child support on a significant other. Now, that right there. And it's not, we know the day and age, we're not in a time where, you know, shit is done right, right and exact or righteously. We know that there's... Um, under the table uh, fuckery that's going on. We know that there's injustice happening. And we know that there's uh, just, you know, a fucking whole lot of, a plethora of things and shit that's, that's fucking with the Holy Trinity, which is the man, woman, and child. And it goes, this can affect everyone, you know, because there was a time when all of us had our, um, our culture and its own respective parts of the world and we had a central location where we all just was chilling and, you know, came together and just lived amongst each other and got a chance to know one another, you know. So and that was peace and it was a agreement with that. So the powers that be now don't want that shit. So um, anyhow, so for those who's going to, to aid and get their help from the powers that be in this in this time, you know, it's damn near like shame on you, man. But you're doing what you're supposed to do in order to strengthen the soul and the spirit you know because that's what the one does so but that whole little situation if you had an unfortunate situation and it's like and you know the guy was like he just ran off and shit or the girl ran off then yeah you got to find them then get the get it you know what i'm saying get it or if you just yeah or if the if the Individual is just like, yo, I'm, I just want to help out anyways or whatever, whatever we could do. We, we ain't got it. We ain't got to have the court. Well, we can. You know what I'm saying? The court is there to put punishment on because the, the judge sits on the bench and the bench is Latin for bank. So they sitting on the bank, man, the money. And it's your money, your treasure, you know. So you're the, you're the sacrifice, especially if we're dealing with House Joint Resolution 192 that was passed. In 1933. So, yeah, you fucking collateral and shit. But they know how to use one collateral over another. You know? <laughs> so, it's just, it's just, it's crazy. So, for those who go out and get this shit, knowing, you know, hey, that's, you know, and damn well, you can go out and make you some ends. And y'all can come to an agreement, you know, without utilizing um, another uh, bloodthirsty entity. In between your business, man. That's like a shame on you. Especially if you went all this goddamn way to uh, to cover shit up, man. To make shit right and exact. Not cover shit up, but just to make shit right and exact for your family. It's like, why would you go that far? You know what I'm saying? And then go and give the babies back to the government. If you, like, had home births and you ready to get up. I mean, stuff like that, man. It, it doesn't make no sense. So... And when you're dealing with original people, we're dealing with common sense. You know what I'm saying? A sense that is common. Because if you ain't got that common sense, you're in the pit of ignorance. We know black folks know some shit. That coil, that nappy hair, that woolly hair lets you know that we know, all right? So, uh, the thing is, is that when those act other than who they naturally are, then nigga, you just become an ignorant. Because you could just figure out things just by doing the knowledge. But anyhow, though, back to the little whole little um, child support thing. And so, as a man, you know what I'm saying, if the woman runs off or has to go off, and this and the third, I'm going to have to take care of my responsibility, and, yo, I'm going to make the money, get the ends, and do what I got to do. You know, I may, the most I may even bless me with another with some help, you know, to further do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? So... Sometimes the most high use you and make you as an example too. It ain't just always the glorious shit. So it use you as a, it use you as an example. It, it may not be as uh, befitting as you may like it to be, but the understanding is overstood. So yeah, um when you dealing with these, when you when you go and deal with the industry, like as a man, and a woman woman runs off, or if she's there and say she's making more than me or whatever, and I just go have to go and ask her for some money, 
to help raise my old ass, my baby, my son or daughter or whatever. You know, that's like the chicken way, man. That's like a way that you, you know what I'm saying, you you still plugged into the matrix. I don't want to say a chicken way because chickens have got honor too. They do what they do, shit. You know what I mean? But I'm just talking about that's just, that's like not the honorable way. It's like, yo, let her have her shit. You get yours. Ain't nobody taking from you. Then just go and get it then. You know what I'm saying? It's about spending time with the seed and doing things with the seed. Because what's more money going to do for you in the company here? You know what I'm saying? In this company. You're not going to never get to the top. You're never going to be president of this company. So why do you want to even be a part of it? But they found ways to trap you within the company so you can't travel amongst and around to other companies. Because you may have an influence. You'd be an asset. You don't found a way to buy out your contract. Something like a Floyd Mayweather type shit. You know, with Bob Arum. And Bob Arum considers to be the motherfucking company. He's like America type shit. You know what I'm saying? Floyd was just like a nigga that's like, man, yo, fuck that. I got the talent. But his uncle was brought over here by slaves. Uncle Roger, you know what I'm saying? Was brought over. So it's like, damn, he, he utilized his nephew for the shit. But Floyd's father instilled in his mind when he was a baby, you know what I'm saying? Not to take their foods, not to be anything like them. It's the same way with the original people in the, in the wilderness of North America. And you too can gain the riches too within yourself. So, yeah, you're going to have a lot of haters and shit. Just because you empathetically or empathically, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shining you know and, and they kind of they don't really uh, agree with that so dealing with the original people in america and child support that's like you know that's almost like a no-no so as a woman if a woman can turn down a man that's out here you know what i'm saying that's it's like they dad i'm talking about like turn down telling them or telling on him in the um the court system then you know there's men that could turn that down too with women you know what i'm saying so but at the same time, for those who are vindictive and just want to, whether they making more money anyways, and just still want to put them through hell, knowing that the shit is against them, you know, it's like, it's really a, it's like, it's going to be a karmic judgment on that. You know, you dealing, when you're dealing with certain entities that can um, control their self or don't allow their thoughts or emotions to control them, pretty much, you know, and, you know, but react and be human, you know. When you have that type of shit, then it's, it becomes a problem, you know what I'm saying, to their society and shit. It becomes a problem as far as, you know, we um, be, a, be a threat to breaking the goddamn gun system and coming back online. Because they already see everybody eating right and exact and, you know, starting to, you know, eat more wholesome foods like Muzz was doing in the South anyways and shit. Motherfuckers making that shit from scratch any goddamn way. You know what I mean? That's why Muzz bodies be all like, damn, must be genetics. Like, I guess, man, I eat beans and rice every day for breakfast in the morning with my granddaddy, man. You know, <laughs> shit. Shit like that. That's what you're supposed to be eating. But then you start eating all the extra bacon fat and then you start accumulating parasites and shit in your brain. Then, you know, now these parasites is lighting up or uh, waking up or born in you know, and playing all kind of thoughts that's not even yours, and it's just bringing in other frequencies from not even your frequency, and therefore you re you the vessel, your body's the vessel, and you're just acting the shit out. So you just inside, just going crazy in the pit of hell and pit of ignorance. So shed the food, you know what I mean? But it's gonna be a process of some years, and then you know, hey, you'll see clearly. But with that child support shit, that shit, some of them damn parasites, you know, still exist. You know what I mean? So, not as woke as you think he is. But that's okay. But with that, I'll just tell everyone, you know what I'm saying? Get it how you live. Get it on your own. You know what I'm saying? Not how you live. But just do what you're supposed to do. The, if you live in the righteous way and shit, just get it. And um, you don't have to go to their system and, um, and get for them and shit. But get some, try to get them in your shit. They love to get in your shit. You ain't got to go there and... Um, and get they shit This is man or a woman Just be like fuck it I'm just gonna do it And then you know Shit may come around Who knows man Shit You know what I'm saying Just take some moments It takes some moments over here That's all So with that I'm gonna say peace More love Blessings And I love y'all